what's going on YouTube? My name's Black Sonic. Today I've got an AN94 gameplay for you. Now, this is after the patch. If you didn't know, there was a recent patch for Black Ops 2 and it involves reduced damage to the AN94 and increased rate of fire for the DSR sniper rifle and the ballista sniper rifle. But let me talk about the AN94 first. Basically, this is the first game I got as soon as I installed the patch. This is the first game I got. I just wanted to try it out and see what happened. And it goes alright. It doesn't go too bad. I don't get too many deaths, but I don't get a hell of a lot of kills either. But you do notice the patch is there, but it doesn't really make a difference. And that is literally, for lack of a better term, I can't really think of any better way to explain it. You know the patch is there, you can feel it when you're shooting people, but it doesn't particularly make a difference. Like here, that is a shot I shouldn't have been going for, but normally that would have actually killed him, or at least could have killed him. I would have had a better chance of killing him, but it literally did nothing then. But at the same time, I think the, pa I think the patch is balanced. Because it punishes you for shots you shouldn't be taking. Shots that are really, really far away. Like, if if they're really far away, basically, you shouldn't really be... Unless you have a sniper rifle or something like that, you shouldn't really be going for them. But when I have... Because I normally play with SMGs, when I have an assault rifle, I tend to be a little bit more cheeky. And it doesn't always work out right. It doesn't always go the way I want it to. But that's mainly down to me taking like shots that I shouldn't be taking but again if someone it still kills people really really close if there's someone in front of you three bullets they're done there you go three bullets he was done someone pops out here that was two or three bullets and he's done and then again two bullets done like it still works it's still a really good gun but if they're really really far away like that there was at least that was at least one or two hit markers I think I hit him again Yes, I do, and I kill him. But that was at least five, six bullets, which it would have only been three, maybe four. Like, you notice it when it's quite far away. When you're trying to hit really hard targets or things you shouldn't be going for, then that's when you notice the difference the most. But for the most part, on small maps or anything like that, you won't notice the difference. The gun is still a beast. It still kills people really, really quickly. And it will still be my go-to weapon. I'm not going to use any other assault rifles. I am, but not as much. It's not. This is my go-to assault rifle when I want to do well, when I want to get a gameplay, or if I, again, if I just want to do well, I will pick up the AN94 if I need an assault rifle. It is my go-to assault rifle. Normally, I play with SMGs and they're not so powerful, so I guess I'm used to sort of the lack of damage, but because this has a reduced rate of fire, it doesn't fire as fast as most submachine guns that's where the nerf really sort of comes in as well but as i said it's still my go-to assault rifle and it probably always will be for the rest of black ops 2 but again as i said it punishes you for things for shots you shouldn't be taking shots you should only be taking if you have a sniper rifle but talking about sniper rifles let me get onto the dsr and the ballista those have both both of those have had a patch and it is increased rate of fire now it's not that big it's literally fractions of a second it's not like it went it's not like it jumped up to two seconds in between bullets it was literally 0.2 seconds to 0.4 seconds like that's the difference that's what's happened it's now 0.4 seconds to fire the next bullet after the first one and you have to pull the bolt back and it basically, I think it just completes the whole animation. Me personally, I don't use snipers a lot. The only time I really use snipers is when I'm in a private game with my clan or something like that. And we just sort of, we go on Nuketown and we just jump around and do silly stuff with sniper rifles. And we just have a little sniper gameplay just to sort of get our aim up there. If we're having a bad day or having a couple of bad games and we want to sort of, we want to sort of get our aim back. That's what we do. We all go in a private party. We all go in a private game, and we all we'll all just snipe each other until we feel like <laughs> like until we feel like our aim is back, basically. But again, I'm not someone who snipes. I've made a sniper montage before on Modern Warfare 3. It's on my channel. You can go and find it. It's not particularly good. It was one of my first videos, but 
Again, I don't really snipe very much, so I can't really talk. But that's mainly what all the fuss is about. Because David Von der Haar has been getting some serious death threats. Like, actual death threats. Hoping he gets all sorts of diseases. Hoping people burn his house down and things like that. Which I think is completely wrong. Don't act like that. There's no need to act like that. Because that is just... That's just giving all gamers a bad name. And thinking we're all raging and things like that. But, again, I don't notice the difference. But you might notice the difference. So, thanks for watching. That's the end of the video. Please leave a like, please leave a favor, and let me know in the comment section down below. Have you noticed these nerfs? Will you still use the AN94? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.